Okay, so we have our first big sale of Golden Garage, and it turns out to be my Walking Dead figures. I just sold all these for $300. Posted them up originally for like $700. Uh, a lot of people clicked on it. Not a lot of people were interested. Now I dropped the price to 550 and then someone talked me down to 300. I figure I'm gonna use this 300. I make off of these to buy a heat press printer that we can use to save 250 every single purchase that someone buys our stuff. One last look at the Walking Dead figurines before I let them go. Document this moment here, big sale. Biggest sale so far for Golden Garage, 300 bucks for all these total. All the money that we're making with Golden Garage, I'm reinvesting right back into the business. So with this 300, I'm gonna buy a heat press transfer printer, and then we'll start using that for all orders moving forward when it's ordered on Facebook Marketplace or eBay. Also reorganized all the stuff. We had a whole bunch of stuff that we got for free. Uh, from an old garage sale that someone gave us a whole bunch of cups basically and, and purses and stuff. I'm trying to reorganize all the stuff that I have for Golden Garage, see what's worth keeping, see um, how to organize it all. That way I can post it up and have everything working in an organized fashion. So I've been moving all the stuff into the closet in the room back there, some stuff in the workout room, and then we're going through and getting rid of the, um, the fat and getting rid of stuff that pretty much no one's gonna be interested in. I'm about to drive an hour and a half, go drop off this stuff and uh, make 300 bucks. Cha ching let's go. All right, 8-5-2022, just did another garage sale haul, went to like five different garage sales today, got some good picks. Spent $28 total, got these two things for 10 bucks each. She wanted 15 for them. I was like, eh, well, if you wanna let it go, give it to me for 10. See what we can turn those into. I got these little Harry Potter, try to find the golden snitch things. And they were a buck for both of them, unopened. So maybe there is a golden snitch in there. Um, I got a Scientology. I think it's a, a cassette or DVD. I don't know. It doesn't look like a book. And it's unopened. She gave this to me for free, probably because no one's trying to buy it. <laughs> and started around Hubbard. I got a whole bunch of old Disney books. 101 Dalmatians, Winnie the Pooh, Lady and the Tramp, One -headed Little Mermaid, Jungle Book, Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast, all sorts of stuff. Got a little Houston Astros cap and um, for a dollar fitting at the same place. I find an Atlanta Braves hat that perfectly matches me. And why that's fitting is because the Braves smashed the Astros there. No more, they are gone. We'll give this hat to this man right here so he can look all serious. Got him for a dollar as well. He talks, pretty cool. Let me see if I can get him to say something. I feel great, I feel great. This is my favorite of this find, besides the Braves hat, of course. Two Harley Davidson shot glasses for a buck each. She was pretty firm on the prices, but I have sold like five Harley Davidson items, so I think those are gonna go. And then we got Tickle Me Ernie to go along with our Tickle Me Elmo. Also got this Betty Boop thing. She wanted five bucks for it, as you can see, but I talked her down to a buck. Cause I was like, hey, look, if you wanna let it go, I'll let you have it for a dollar. Mr. Chimpanzee here for two bucks right after. So not a bad haul. I also have been going through all the stuff uh, we've been throwing in the garage. And uh, we got a whole bunch of junk items that I got rid of to get rid of the bulk. That way I'm not distracted by items that won't make me money. Although I do have this entire bin filled with VHSs and CDs. So I need to figure out how to organize that. Move it into the workout room so we can have that more organized and this is where i'll be storing more of the stuff i'm selling right here just trying to get it all organized but these are all the good stuff that i can put up for sale try to get five plus ten plus dollars for every item marked here also in the process of setting up uh, my new little office space over here as i used to be over there where the tv is that's my mom's office space essentially getting 
a little bit more organized every single time I go out and do this acquiring more items, getting way better at um, negotiating prices and saying no and knowing what to buy. Spent 28 bucks a day, but everything I got, I feel is pretty strong. And uh, really the goal is to just keep buying strong items and slowly storing them away so that when I do hit the point where I figure out what I'm doing here, I'll have multiple days in a row where I can have multiple sale days where four or five items sell and I get, make 20 to 50 bucks instead of just one item every three or four days. Really just sharpening the sword, getting better at the habit, understanding the patterns and, um, and having fun with it because if a lot of this stuff didn't sell, like the Spider-Man and the Superman and the shot glasses, I wouldn't mind keeping them myself. But the fact that I wouldn't mind keeping them myself tells me that other people are gonna to wanna to buy them. So hopefully, uh, you know, we end up selling everything and we go out there and buy some more stuff. So I just did another random garage sale haul. I got inspired on a Saturday. Um, actually got all this stuff from my immediate neighborhood. Didn't have to drive any further than like five minutes from the house, so that was cool. Um, I don't re remember exactly how much I spent. There was a uh, one haul where I got the Speedways. That was 20 bucks. I got everything included in that. There were some lightning hockey bucks in there that sold earlier to our neighbors down the street. Um, then there was another haul. I got the, the Gator Cups here, Spider-Man, Woody, and something else for four bucks. That's 24 bucks. And then I spent $10 getting the stuffed animals here at another garage sale. So estimated about 34 maybe a couple dollars more so we can call it 40 bucks total on all this stuff already made 15 bucks on it we had a couple sales here for from maria for a buccaneers bear there was what is this oh yeah and then there's lightning pucks the limited edition lightning pucks three of them for eight bucks and then there was this stuffed orangutan that looked realistic. He was sitting in this chair here, sold him for four bucks. So already made 15 on 40 spent. And the company's down here. What is that? Gatos. What company is down here? He was on my shoulder, like a company staring at the bird. So not a bad haul for a Saturday. Spent about 34, 40 bucks on this haul. Already made 15, looking to make around 100. So we just racking up inventory, gonna put that, uh, organize it and put it in the uh, workout room in the back here and uh, start posting stuff to Facebook. Let's do it. Let's do it, Robin, what do you think? Golden Garage update, sold some Pokemon cards. Technically sold nine Pokemon cards, including Zapdos, a Haunter, a few other cards. And I threw in some extras for $41 to my friend Ryan. So that's a sale in the books, 40 bucks profit. Oh yeah, and I got a new office set up here, as you guys can see. So uh, just relisting some stuff like uh, the mugs on Facebook Marketplace, all of these mugs on Facebook Marketplace, just relisting, repricing, restructuring, reorganizing everything, make everything a little bit more appealing. We didn't, we finessed him out of $4. Yeah. As my beautiful girlfriend just said, we just finessed this cup for a dollar. He wanted four, <laughs> but he didn't get that, did he? No. No, no, he didn't. He didn't. And we got to race, <laughs> and he got to race him. I have a video of that too. You, you got get that? Me. Yeah, I got to race him to see which bike was fastest, and your boy won. So I had the gas powered bike. Why do you think I'm out here selling mugs? Golden Garage update Elmo freaking finally sold for five bucks. We've got someone coming to pick up. Mr. Tickle Me Elmo right now. Um, I believe Elmo was one of our first acquisitions of Golden Garage. So from episode one all the way to now episode eight, Elmo is gone, let's go. And that's $4 profit by the way, cause we bought Elmo for a dollar. Also when the person gets here, I'm gonna try to upsell them on Tickle Me Ernie. And this guy actually talks. Oh. The other guy that wanted Tickle Me he Elmo, talks. I'm not gonna say anything until Elmo gets picked up. Well, I know how to make them talk. <laughs> so just went thrift store shopping and picked up nine different items for nine bucks. Got them all here, got each and every one for a dollar. Got a WrestleMania t-shirt, got some glasses in there. And I even got a, um, I have a 
shaggy bobblehead, and now I have a, what's his name, Ken bobblehead, a Fred, now I have a Fred bobblehead to go with a shaggy bobblehead, so hopefully we'll match those two together. Got to be careful in there, a lot of items are marked up, but uh, each and everything I picked out uh, was a dollar, so just got to hand select it, and uh, yeah, I, I think I'm going to start hitting this every week during the week to fill in for the days that I can't go garage selling. That way, I'm constantly building up the inventory so that we can have more multiple sale days. Still trying to figure out the overall process of this, getting better at posting, having more sales consistently now that I'm posting. Um, now I wanna get in a good process, consistent healthy process of buying things and knowing what's gonna sell knowing what makes sense to go out and get constant inventory of. So that's what we're finding out, thrift store shopping, and uh, yeah, I'll show you guys the haul here in a second. Golden Garage update, currently at USPS store. Long story short, uh, we had went to Best Buy and ordered a thermal printer. It looks to be the wrong one, or at least it's too small for the shipping labels that we're creating for the sales that we have on Facebook now. So I'm currently at USPS and gonna get all the shipping labels made for the seven orders that we have currently right now on Facebook. So, super good news. Um, I thought it was gonna cost 15, 20 bucks. Ended up costing four bucks total. So that is not as big of a loss as I was thinking going in there. Cause a uh, total of the sales was literally $40. We had eight sales total, I was going through it in there. And uh, like I said, $40 total on eight sales. I figured, oh, okay, two fifty dollars a pop is gonna be about 18, 19 bucks. You know, I would've made 40 bucks total off of whatever spent on the product. But now I'm gonna make 20, all right. Four, minus four, hey, I'll take that. That's 36 net profit on all those sales. Um, I don't know how much I bought each individual item for, but it definitely did profit, so this is good. Okay, so these are all the sales. Funny enough, um, this was sale number nine, the three Gators Cups. So I'm gonna have to go back to the store and print out um, a shipping label for these bad boys right here. But everything else in this pile is sales. We got the New York Giants NFL glasses. Got the Garfield mug. Got the Grouch from Sesame Street. The two Transformers. Uh, red Polo hat along with the Robin Jean hat. Saddam, King of Terror. Wonder Woman, 44 hat. And of course the Cater Cups. Also got all of the packaging. So I'm gonna go ahead and Put these into the packages and then get the shipping labels over here and attach these bad boys. Oh yeah, and this is what I got at the thrift store the other day, a little beanie baby. I saw these go online, the errands is what he's called, I believe. Yep, the errands go online for 300 plus dollars, so I'm gonna try to put them up for like 50 or 100. Um, got a United States Special Operations mug, Happy Holidays glass, some prom for 2010, and Terminator 2 3D, I'll be back. And a motorcycle, little stuffed animal, Tampa Bay Rays hat, and I found Fred. I already had Shaggy. <laughs> Got them at two separate places. Boom, I have packed them all up. Put the shipping labels out on them. The only ones left to do are these bad boys right here. And I'm gonna get to that probably tomorrow because it's not really like a rush. These I've been waiting on to print and ship out for about a week, waiting on our thermal printer. So I gotta send these out today. These will get shipped out tomorrow. We are at USPS dropping off all the packages. Pretty easy. Just marked fragile on everyone, and um, yeah, gonna drop them off at the desk there. Man, that was a pretty cool feeling to drop off like uh, seven or eight pass packages at the same, <laughs> that was a pretty cool feeling to drop off like eight packages at the same time, and know that as soon as they get delivered, $47 is gonna be in my bank account. It's easy, um, I mean, it's a little bit of work, but it's fun. It's like you're wrapping up packages for people. Um, I could definitely see myself 
excited to ship out 50 to 100 packages like that every single day. Just checked out this little thrift store. And it's not bad, but uh, you know, if I was shopping for personal use, but not for resale value. Lots of big, heavy items in there, $50, $100 tags. I thought it was gonna be more stuff like that, but you know, you win some, you lose some. 